Katy Perry was one of the big-name stars who made their way across the pond to celebrate the coronation of King Charles III, but she seemed to have had some little trouble upon arriving at London's Westminster Abbey. Alongside her fellow American Idol judge Lionel Richie and a slew of other big names, Perry was confirmed on April 14th to be in attendance. It was revealed she would not only be in the Abbey to watch King Charles be crowned, but she would also be taking part in a very special concert celebrating the event on the grounds of Windsor Castle on May 7th. Though some might have questioned exactly why the star was selected, it is believed that she was chosen due to her affiliation with the British Asian Trust. She was appointed as an ambassador by King Charles himself in 2020. When the star made her way to the royal event on May 6th, she stunned in a gorgeous lavender ensemble with elbow high gloves and a glamorous matching fascinator, but it seemed like she maybe could have done with a little more help finding her seat. Footage of her inside the prestigious venue went viral on social media as it showed her struggling to know exactly where to go. The star could be seen attempting to scout out her space and even spun around as she tried to get a better view of the Abbey and, hopefully, her seat. At one point, Perry even moved to a totally different block inside the venue and appeared to ask another attendee what row they were on before moving away in confusion. Oops, Twitter users were already singing the praises of the clip, with one joking alongside a crying face emoji, this is a new reaction vid if I've ever seen one. Perry eventually found her seat and settled in for the history-making event, but we have to say, we love seeing her doing exactly what we'd probably end up doing on such an important occasion. Katy Perry was clearly thrilled to have been invited to witness the formal coronation of King Charles III, as she told Access Hollywood before heading over to the UK. I'm just so grateful that um, to be asked for these moments. The star also admitted it felt like a good fit for her to attend the coronation and perform the following day because of her work with the British Asian Trust, a foundation that combats child trafficking. I'm also an ambassador for UNICEF, so both of those things really are my core values. And as a mother, I know firsthand what's most important. As for what to expect from the firework hitmaker during her time in the UK, she shared, I'm going there to represent myself as an ambassador and just to bring the light and the love. That's all I ever want to bring. Katy Perry has long shown off her affection for the UK, but her coronation outfit appeared to have an extra special nod to the country and its culture. The star's lavender outfit was actually a piece from the late Vivian Westwood, one of the most famous and prolific British designers in fashion. Not only that, but purple is a color that's long been associated associated with the British royal family. Princess Diana wore almost the exact same shade on several occasions. Though she may not be from the UK, Perry has quite a British connection. She was previously married to Brit actor and comedian Russell Brand and is now engaged to actor Orlando Bloom, with whom she shares a daughter, Daisy Dove Bloom. You know, I do, I obviously have a type. I like English gentlemen. She also told Hart in 2019, I think I like English gentlemen because there's something in that kind of sarcastic dark sense of humor, and I like that they sound really eloquent. Well, she was clearly in her element with all the English gentlemen surrounding her at the King's coronation, once she found her seat, that is.